update. Well, there may be less red tape when Hagen stores close by the end of the year and other businesses take over their spots. And we checked today to see what city and county officials can do to speed up the process, if they can do anything. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live from Goleta. And John, they have cut through the red tape before. And we're in front of the Hagen in Goleta off of Fairview. And this store is expected to flip sometime between now and Thanksgiving to some new owner that hasn't been named. And we have seen in the past that the city has been able to give the paperwork involved for permits and application to someone in the staff to make sure it's ushered through the process in an expeditious way. And that's what's likely going to be happening here, we understand. And that will be good not only for the business, but also for the employees and the economy overall. I would like to see an individual Santa Barbara owned store here. Somebody who really knows what they're doing. When Hagen rolled out new stores in spring and summer, it was a fast turnaround as they took over some Vons and some Albertsons. Now, with the quick exit coming, what will fill all the buildings in the Pacific Southwest when they leave soon? I think this store needs to be a grocery store. And I don't want to see it go away and not have any other options. Yeah. That's what I want. At this Santa Barbara Mesa store, customers said they wanted a good fit for the area, and they were concerned about the workers holding their jobs. I'd like to see something, and also what it's going to provide employment for the people. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's my beef. In some cases, city and county paperwork can be expedited to help a new business. Galita did that with some permits and approvals recently to get the changeovers on their way. But it's still to be seen who will be the new tenants. You know, as far as I know, they don't, they can't tell people who to come in, who not to accept. Yeah. So it's up to, you know, the individual community. One customer certainly wanted enough organic choices but not any attitude or excessive pricing when she walks through whatever will be the new store. It was a totally cool school store and not too expensive and not too I'm better than everybody else store. And many of the employees here were here when it was the Vons. They were offered a chance to leave at that time with the changeover to Hagen. They stayed. They're here now, and we've been told many of them would like to stay in a grocery store here. This is where they call their workplace, and they know all the customers, and this is their neighborhood. We'll see how it plays out in the next, what's amounting to about 54 days. In Goleta, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. Okay, we'll wait and see. Thanks, John.